Good evening guys, Tony back again, Orin Todge, and uh, I've been thinking about this tag for a few weeks, trying to get the films I need, because I've got a lot of them on my Sky Q and downloaded and stuff, but basically I'm going to do my top 10 films of all time, non-horror, so we all know we're in it for the horror, so obviously I'm horror in Todge and I watch all you horror guys, that's all I watch really. And we all love horror. And that's what I generally watch most of the time. But I just thought, if I do a top 10, see what you guys, what your guys' top 10s are of your films you love. And, you know, you've watched a million times. That's what I'm going on. It's a pretty generic list, my list is. But I could have put so many films in there. But basically, I'm just going to go through you very quickly. I've done a video before, but it's too long. So... I'll go for it a bit quicker. But yeah, hope you guys try and think of it. Because it's really hard. I've struggled a lot. But here we go anyway. Number 10 on my list. Frank DeBont's Green Mile. This is Stephen King adaptation. Brilliant film. Everyone knows it. It's got Tom Hanks. Plays a security guard. It's got Michael Clark Duncan. The big guy. Who plays... Um, John Coffey, and uh, yeah, it's just a brilliant film, really long film, real get into it, I can watch it any time, you've also got Sam Rockwell in this, who plays Wild Bill, but I just love this film, great acting, great pacing, great storyline, great everything, watch it, uh, The Green Mile, everyone's seen it anyway, I know, but if you haven't, that's the back guys, bought this the other day, Read it and definitely watch it. It's definitely worth it. That's my number 10 film. My number 9 film is my favourite Rocky. Rocky 4. So Sylvester Stallone directed this. I think it's about 1985. And it's just my favourite one. A real underdog story. Because you've got, uh, obviously, Sylvester Stallone. You've got Dolph Lundgren, who's Ivan Drago, the big Russian. And basically Stallone goes to Russia to fight him against the odds. I know he's always against the odds in all his films, but I find this one, he's really against it. Because he's in Russia, he's hated. This guy's pumped up with steroids, he's, you know, killing people in the ring. you got a wonderful, gorgeous Bridget Nielsen, who's Dolph Lundgren's wife in this as well. Um, just a brilliant film. I love this film, Rocky Four, and it just reminds me of childhood, really. Rocky Four is my favourite Rocky. I like them all, love them all, but that's my favourite one. Uh, my only Western in this one, uh, number eight, is the best Western of all time, The Good, Bad and Ugly, Sergio Leone. Uh, Man With No Name trilogy, we've all seen this probably, and if you haven't, definitely watch it, even if you're not into Cowboys, this one's amazing. It's really long, probably over three and a half hours long. But I could say these films I'm giving you here, I can turn on any time. Even halfway through, I can just start watching them when they're on telly. I'll put them on. Even if I see them on, I'll just put them on. Just amazing. Clint Eastwood. Uh, I don't know what this is. Probably about 1966, something like that. You've got Clint Eastwood, who's the man with no name, or Blondie, as Tuco calls him. You've got Eli Wallace, who's Tuco, who's. An absolute toe rag, <laughs> scoundrel, my favourite character in this film. And you got uh, Lee Van Cleef, who's Angel Eyes, who's another bounty hunter, looking for Clint Eastwood's character, and Tuco. And it's just brilliant. Really long, really good story driven, brilliant acting, stands up well. Amazing film. That's my number eight. My number seven is my favourite Lord of the Rings film, Peter Jackson. I need to upgrade, it's the old one. Return of the King, uh, probably 2006, is it, this one? Something like that. 2003, maybe. Uh, yeah, I love this film. My favourite my favorite one, 2003. Sorry, guys, want me on about 2006. Um, I remember buying this from Woolworths in England when it was open. This cost me about 25 quid then, DVD. But yeah, it's, my, it's just a brilliant film. Epic. There's were brilliant fight scenes. You got Orlando Bloom in this as Legios. 
you got Ian McKellen as Gandalf, Sir Ian McKellen, sorry. You've got uh, Elijah Ward as Frodo. you got all of them in there. Uh, Viggo Mortiz, Mortison, sorry, as Aragon, who I've never seen in anything else. Viggo Mortison. Apparently, he was really nice in Lord of the Rings. He seemed like a really nice fella, didn't he? But apparently he was a real prick and hard to work with and a horrible person. So I don't know if that's true or not, but read reports he is. But this is amazing. Won the best picture. It just ties everything together so well. So oh, brilliant effects for the time. Amazing film. That's my number seven. Could have been number one, couldn't it? And all these could be number one, most of them. You know, it's just it's pretty generic, but my films, I love them. Number six, the year I was born, 1984, Karate Kid. Love this film. Uh, John G. Alderson um, directed this. You got Ralph... Um, you got Ralph Macchio as uh, Daniel LaRusso. You got Pat Morty as... Brilliant Mr. Miyagi, and you got a horrible, <laughs> the horrible Martin Cove as John Kreese. John Kreese in this is um, the bad guy, he's horrible. Who's he played by Martin Cove. You really want to knock his teeth out yourself. He's just <laughs> real awesome buddy, really. He's horrible, just a smuggle up. And it's just like a it's like a sports film, coming of age film, though, as well. Brilliantly directed. Um, Love it. Love everything about it. Karate Kid is amazing. Definitely watch it if you haven't, but I know you all have. All these films are probably everyone's seen, but... Number five. Another Scorsese film. The Departed. I love this film. I always watch it when it's on. It's always on ITV2 for some reason. Always watch it when it's on, even if it's halfway through. It's got the best... Uh role of actors ever you've got like Leonardo DiCaprio you've got Matt Damon Jack Nicholson Mark Wahlberg you've got um who else have you got I'm trying to think of a name now Vera Famiga you got Alec Baldwin you got Martin Sheen you got Ray Winston you name it you've got it in here a brilliant cop film and gangsters um Jack Nicholson plays a guy called Frank, who's hot, a real nasty piece of work. You know, DiCaprio's playing an undercover, he's an undercover cop. You got <laughs> Matt Damon, who's a cop, but he's really a bad guy. It's just, and the way it ties together at the end, it's unbelievable. It's a long film again, like all Scorsese's films are long, but I can just, I love these films. And if you haven't seen this, guys, like I say, with all of them, check it out. Brilliant ride. Amazing film. Love it. That's my number five. Number four is my favourite Star Wars movie. So I've tried to do it. I could have gone like Star Wars 1, 2, 3. Could have put them all in like from number one down or, and Lord of the Rings, anything. But I've just picked one from each franchise. So I've gone with Return of the Jedi, Childhood Memories. Great film, George Lucas. It's just, ah, oh, Return of the Jedi. Richard, uh, McQuaid, Mark Quaid directed it. And you got Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker, obviously. You got Carrie Fisher as Princess Lee. You got Harrison Ford as Han Solo. And you got, who plays Palpatine now? I think it's Ian McQuaid or something, McQuad. He's a horrible villain. Um, but yeah, it's just, I just love it. It just brings back my childhood memories. We've got the Ewoks, um, the, the bit with Jabba at the start, Jabba the Hawk. That bit with the where they get dressed up as the stiff guards. Oh, stiff guards, it's amazing. I love it. Seriously, I love this film. I've watched it a million times. Return of the Jedi, number four. Amazing. Best Star Wars film. And these are the best Star Wars films, the old ones. Bought this the other day. Uh, amazing. Number three. Which is no surprise. Brilliant Shawshank Redemption. Amazing. Absolutely love it. I've watched it a thousand times again. Another Frank de Bont film. You've got Tim Robbins, who plays Andy de Freem's. you got uh, Morgan Freeman, who plays Red. Been in prison a long time. you got, who else you got in this? Bob Gunter, who's the warden. He's horrible. And it's just a brilliant film. Just a guy gets convicted wrongly of murder. 
and it's just oh such a long film but a great film and one of my favorites love it absolutely love it watch it over and over and over again brilliant number three on the list so i'm not going to go into too much detail so the video will be too long Number two, could have been my number one, it nearly was, but Goodfellas, another Scorsese film, amazing, best gangster film, I love The I love the Godfather as well, but this is my favourite, Robert De Niro, Ray Leto, Joe Pesce, three of them grow up together, become gangsters together, like, a, you know, Italian Americans, and you go from bootlegging, selling beer and fags, then to selling drugs, it goes from like the 60s, 70s, 80s, Really long film, really good action, really oh, great pacing, love it. Watched it a million times, like I said about them all. This is a great addition. I've just picked this up the other day, so I haven't watched this one yet, but I've got it on all different formats. Love this film, great film. Love it, number two. My number one, I might have mentioned it a few times, it was always going to be Stand By Me. Another Stephen King um, story. The Body is a book, and the book's brilliant as well. This was directed by Rob Rayner. And it's just um, like a coming-in-of-age film, basically it is. Just like three young teenage, four young teenagers. You've got Will Wheaton, River Phoenix, Corey Feldman, and uh, Jerry O'Connell. And they just go looking for a dead body. <laughs> like you like all teenagers do, basically, yeah. It's just a brilliant story. Amazing. Like I say, these four together... It was like they'd been friends all their lives. I asked Corey Feldman, I saw him the other the other um, week at Horicon, and I said to him, I said, stand by me. I know probably a million people say it to you. It's my favourite film. How the hell did you get that chemistry? He said, we'll just add it. He said, they were just great guys. It just <sighs> rolled off easy with his kids. It just, I don't know, it just worked. I was like, brilliant, man. My favourite film. Seriously. you got Kiefer Sutherland here as well as Ace. He's a great villain in this i wanted him to die so bad he was a piece of work but yeah it, seriously if if any of you guys are watching it and think i've seen this film but just haven't watched it please watch this because i just so heartwarming you know everything about it's amazing so yeah i just tried to do this quick as quick as i could um that's my number one stand by me brilliant film um try and do it guys all you guys, I know we're all horror guys, but try and do this. It's so hard to come up with. So who can I tag? I'll just tag like Andrew Balliner, uh, Grant, horror fan man, uh, Jason, uh, horrific nightmares when he comes back, when you get better, mate. Uh, Brad Bronco Juggalo, who else can I tag? Corey at, horror, at Need Gore. Who else we got in England? Uh, Nate Noble, good guy we see on Instagram. He's picking up a few movies. Uh, Darren Hall, um, Drew, hey, and it's Devon Graham, uh, Lauren, Lauren's Collections. Let's tag all you. You might not want to do it. It's a, it's a bit of a drawn out process, but if you do, yeah, it's a great tag. Like I say, it's not horror, but just, you know, favourite films that are non horror. It's just amazing to do. I wrote so many pages of stuff down, I was going to say, but I'm not going to because it'll go on for it. Two hours in this video where I can talk about these films, but brilliant. And I love this tag. I know I made it myself, but it's just got my memory going. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, yeah, get back to me. Let me know what you think of my list. Pretty generic, I know. Pretty A star, um, Hollywood type thing, but I love them. Watch them anytime, these films. Amazing. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I'll catch you all later.